Hey Blockheads, this is DJ AK from NK Airplay Radio. And if you love what the My So Cold Whatever podcast crew is doing, check us out too. NK Airplay is an online radio station playing all your favorite hits from the 80s and 90s, especially the ones from those boys in the band, New Kids on the Block. Listen to artists like Boys to Men, Debbie Gibson, Tiffany, boy bands, girl bands, and many more. We play artists that are associated with or who inspired the New Kids on the Block, plus some of the artists that inspired us while we were growing up. Check us out on social media at NK Airplay Radio. And download the Live 365 app for your iPhone or Android phone and listen today. Friends forever, that's what we are. Through the thick and the thin, we're friendship stars. We're banger main buddies from the days of old. We laugh, cry, and hug, friendship solid as gold. My soul could whatever started a year ago. We share our stories, and your stories were told. 80s, 90s memories that give us glee. And on the block party shows, NKOTB. Now our friendship circle has grown by far. Hashtag friends forever, that's what we all are. Boom. And if you don't know, now you know. My soul called whatever for life. Hashtag MSCW Hashtag Friends Forever Yeah Uh, 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 uh Yeah Um, do you want to start? Let's, let's start, let's start shooting the shit Let's, yes, let's do it Let's shoot some shits (laughs) How's it going? Actually, it's going pretty good, you know how was your uh, Thanksgiving? Um, it was pretty good. Um, yeah, yeah uh, just had immediate family, and that was it. Um, Perfect. It was uneventful, and I, ca- I, I actually we got it from Governors. Like oh, the you restaurant. did? Yeah, that we have this restaurant called Governors, um, and everything was great. Except I wasn't like too keen on the turkey, which is like that's the whole Thanksgiving. You know that's what I mean? Like your, that's your jam. I know. And I wasn't loving the turkey. Like it was all white meat, which is like, but I think when you reheat it, it loses the juices. Absolutely. And I think it lost the juice anyway before. Yep. So, but I can't complain because I didn't have to like cook. Cook. Um, and we had all the fixings and it was great good stuffing yeah um yeah that but we burned the stuffing (laughs) so (laughs) um when we reheated it but it was fine it was fine um the pies we have so much pie left over it's like insane you happen to have any graham cracker pie um i actually have a peanut butter pie with graham cracker crust that sounds delicious too, but I love a graham cracker pie and I wish that I had made one. I made chocolate cream and I made pumpkin mm-hmm. and all that's left is like two pieces of pumpkin left. Mm-hmm. That's it, which is good. That's fine. Everybody likes the chocolate cream. I made it from my grandmother's recipe. It's on a secret recipe, but it was her special recipe mm-hmm. and it tasted just as it did when I was a kid. And it was great. Oh. Brooke, Brooke's roboting. We don't have a lot of leftovers. Oh, whoops. Not anymore. We don't have any leftovers because we ended up, we were going to go to my parents and just do us. Just me, my husband, my daughter, mom and dad, mm-hmm. and my nephew because he lives there. Mm-hmm. Um, but then on Wednesday evening, we found out that Pete may have been exposed at work. So we made the decision to stay home yeah yeah um of course wednesday evening yeah of course wednesday evening we didn't have anything right prepared right right i didn't have a turkey i didn't have anything all i had were the pies well just so you know i was gonna bring you stuff like just so you know that's really nice but what ended up happening is my parents made the meal my mom packed up half of it in like a like a big like styrofoam container mm-hmm. and my dad dropped it off at my garage very cool and i left pie 
outside of my garage for my dad to take home so that oh, they could that have some of the nice. pie. And we had pie. And then, um, so we you got did like a Kentucky fried chicken transaction. Remember when they have like the thing and it goes like it, yes. like you put the, you put the money in the cup and you'd like, and then like and you they put the this, bills under the cup. Right. And then it was, it's perfect for COVID season. Like absolutely perfect. And then they, but the place that's there now got rid of it. Right. But that was, was like, awesome. Was though. Very different. I've never, ever seen another drive through like that don't be either ever so i don't know if it was just like we're gonna try this and we're gonna try it in bangor maine type of deal and just leave it <laughs> maybe other um, kfc's had it like i didn't go to other kfc's no me either so me either. i mean just the one in bangor yeah but yeah. um but that's exactly what it was like and it was fine you know we my daughter was super upset Aww. um but you know, this year is hard for everyone, especially really hard for is. kids. Yeah. And and we celebrated Thanksgiving at home with our new kitties. And yes, it was all good. Your new kitties. Have you talked about them? Oh, I don't think I have. No, I don't think you have Guys, either. I got kittens. Oh. We two. were gonna get them for Christmas. Yeah, two kittens. So on Facebook long story short. A woman posted on Facebook, she had a litter of kittens that were going to be ready in four weeks. So I was like, perfect. Santa might bring some kittens and these ones might be available for him to pick up. Mm -hmm. And um, come to find out, she had another litter, actually two other litters. Oh with my gosh. Kitties that were ready now. Oh. Yeah. Um, so Pete and I went and checked it out because they had a lot of cats. Mm -hmm. So you always kind of wonder, like, what kind of home is this? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was wondering, too. Um, very, very clean home. Oh, really, nice. really nice people. Like, like we went in, we wore masks. Like, everybody was, like, you know, all mm -hmm. was good. Um, they had a ton of cats, but they were very, clearly very well loved. Oh, that's They all had names. Good. Like, they had, already, they had oh, named them. Obviously, like, oh. we changed the names. Right. But, like, they cared enough about these little animals that they gave them all names. Mm -hmm. And so anyway, um, we ended up falling in love with two kitties. One is eight weeks and one is 10 weeks. And oh. they're half sisters. <laughs> so cute. And they're so cute. We named them Rose and Daisy. I love it. I wanted Rachel and Monica. We wanted Post Malone and oh Cameron my God. the other one. <laughs> yes. We were like, Sadie. How about we change the name to Post Malone? Post Malone and Harry Styles. Yes. Yes. Even though they're girls. And she was like, no. 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 Um, so we ended up, we settled on Rose and Daisy. Mm -hmm. And they are wild. <laughs> As Nan, Nan, w seriously, when you <laughs> said that, my Nan had a next door neighbor and they got cats. They got kittens. And Nan would talk about that constantly about her next door neighbor when they got cats and they were wild. They were climbing up the curtains and everything. They were wild cats. Wild, I'll tell you. <laughs> and so when you said that to me today, I was like, oh my gosh, Nan is coming through Brooke. Like she is totally coming through Brooke. They are. Well, Rose is the eight week old and she's, she is pretty chill. She sleeps a lot. Mm -hmm. She is a food addict. Like all she I wants to it. do is eat. And if you have like, food like if you have food out mm -hmm. she will try to eat it <laughs> she eats this hot dog yesterday last night um but so she's pretty chill she gets crazy a little bit but she's a kitten of course mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. daisy she's wily oh. she is a little freak oh. she runs around <laughs> she climbs up curtains she climbs up furniture she's wild but she's precious Aww. also you cannot wear a tank top when you sleep because oh. she will attack the strap all night long oh my gosh i have the little scratches to prove it oh no but she's so cute so she sleeps in your bed they sleep in yeah your bed. Oh. she sleeps in my bed rose sleeps with sadie um Aww. but daisy sleeps with us and she is just she's the one like i fell in love with her the Aww. second I saw her, I'm like, she is coming home with us. We were only going to get one. You're like, she's my cat. Even she though it's my for cat. Sadie, she's my cat. No, she is my cat. Like Daisy is my kitty. She looks like Frisky, kind of. Aww. Frisky, you guys, was my first kitten, like when I was six years old. 
and um, we haven't had kittens. I don't think I've had a kitten since I was a kid. It's, like I haven't had a kitten be. since I was a kitten. So like when everything's all, when you get the all clear, yes. um, can I come over and see the kittens? Cause I love Absolutely. to see them. They're so cute. I want to give them kisses. Oh, and they don't smell bad yet. Cause they're still new. Oh, you know, how, you, like, you know yes. how animals they get yes. like, like cat breath. Yes. Um, they, they're still new. So they don't smell that bad unless they have just eaten. Oh my God. I love puppy breath. Like, Bryn and Brody thought it was disgusting. I just, it's like a new puppy, like the puppy breath. I'm just like, oh, I love my doggy. <laughs> I still love my doggy, but his breath stinks. It's different. Yeah. So, so anyway. Yeah. I've been um, doing something a little on the side, little thing on the side. I was going to talk about John. <laughs> oh, I'm like, what are you doing on the side? <laughs> Not stripping. No. No, no, no. <laughs> but um, although, although, have you watched although. Bad Moms Christmas yet? No, I need to watch it. I watched it again today. Talk about stripping. Ty is it, Swindell. Is it great? Ty Swindell. Yeah, he is. <laughs> He's pretty great. Um. So okay, you're not stripping on the side. No, but I'm helping John, our friend, our new friend psychic medium oh with yeah his, with this podcast so gonna it's gonna be so be, good it's gonna be released um it's going <laughs> i got ding i got a text I um that. it's going to be released on um tuesday so this is going out monday so it's going to be released tomorrow nice i can't wait so yeah he has a podcast it's called spirit in the sky podcast and you can go follow him on his socials. Like you can go to Spirit in the Sky podcast on Instagram and then on Facebook. And then I think he's Spirit Sky Pod on Twitter. That's you awesome. Know, Twitter doesn't let you have like long names. That's why we're so called whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But so, it's all good. It works. People find us and they'll yeah. find him. Yeah. I'm going to so, go follow him now. Oh, yay. And he's so fun. Like, he's just like, he's really excited to do this. And you guys, he's like super interesting. And um, spoiler alert, Charlene, our Charlene, is on his podcast. I and, can't wait. And so is Denise that sent us the story. We, we had her on again we had her on to say that's how awesome. we met and so she got to come on so that was really cool that's and awesome i, got to meet I can't Denise wait to for listen. the first time cool yeah via zoom via zoom yes not in person but anyway yeah i just wanted to throw that little tidbit out there and uh yeah that's listen awesome. if you want to it's a fun trip I'm, I'm excited to listen it'll be really interesting i'm sure i just um i'm just like the the you know trying to think of like my favorite murder what's his name um steven like i'm the steven I so i like oh okay give my two cents every once in a while and you like help facilitate correct correct yeah um should we intro L let's do it yeah all right this is brooke and this is nikki and this is my so-called whatever hey. holiday edition 80s 90s holiday edition jingle bells jingle bells maybe i'll play a little christmas music i was no i was just gonna say you should in the intro like we should like put some like bells or something like something to signify like ho ho ho. This is our holiday edition, and we'll be doing holiday themed episodes for the Through rest the of the month. Yeah, we have them yeah, all planned out. So, oh, I just want to say right, real quick, Brooke's right on top of that rose. I just want to say real quick. Yeah, somebody's birthday is this week. Oh, that that is right. That is right. It's so somebody's weird though. Birthday. It doesn't feel like. It doesn't feel like, you know, because it's love because them. you're it's because you're going to be 41. Yeah, that's true. I just uh, I and I, I just forgot. Like you just said it. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. And that's not me. That's like not. No, me. that's I, not I you. my birthday. Your birthday <laughs> like, is your favorite holiday. I'm just going to be honest. Like, call me whatever you want. I, I love my birthday. And it's like call birthday week. Want, baby. Well, it's tomorrow. So December 1st. It is. It's tomorrow, tomorrow. Tuesday. Everybody wish Nikki a happy birthday. And I hope I get a happy birthday from Donnie. Just put in and out there. 
I, I really, will. I really wanted Tony to sing happy birthday to me, <laughs> but I will settle for him just singing it, singing it to Brooke. That is fine. But I that would was love like the him. best highlight of my life. P.S. So amazing. And I would love to have him on the podcast again. I'm just putting it out there. I'm putting it into the universe that I would love to have Donnie come back on the podcast. And I want to talk about all the things. Like I want to talk about the Donnie bus trip. I want to talk about like, like reunion days like that's what we talked about before like we wanted to talk to him about like yeah. the reunion so yeah donnie we're just putting it out there in the universe putting we'd love to have you there. on again yeah so happy holidays we have an awesome episode yeah oh my gosh you guys this is, this is a brook idea episode and i'm so glad she came up with it because at first i was like uh i don't know if i'm gonna like this but i did gold gold did. so guys we rewatched, or in Nikki's case, she watched. Yes. Pee Wee's Playhouse Christmas special. Yes, I'd actually seen it before because I remembered oh, bits and pieces of it. I remember like the when ice you were a skating kid? part. Yes, I remember the ice skating part. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, I've definitely seen this. <laughs> so, um, yeah. so, you guys, on Netflix, you can go and watch it. It's uh, Pee Wee is very much on netflix it's not the holiday one the new holiday one no. it's, new. it's right, new. peewee's christmas special i believe it's called or holiday special because Pee-wee's the other one's Playhouse called, christmas special right the other one's called like holiday right and that's a newer like movie right which i need which to i've see. seen is i have it seen good? it is it good it is good okay but it's newer yeah it's not like 80s peewee it's newer peewee it doesn't have the same kind of glimmer as this like does. like it's like not like as kitschy as yes yeah but it's but it's still good yeah so this originally aired december 21st 1988 we were eight years old and i actually turned nine you were nine mm-hmm. nine years and 20 days old that's right and um it was nominated for three Emmys. Was it really? It was. Oh my gosh. I don't know which okay. three, but it was nominated for three Emmys. Okay. Okay. Which is pretty amazing when you think about it. Like yeah, he's seriously watching him. I'm like, he is so talented. And yes. in the credit genius. It was like Paul Rubens, Paul Rubens, Paul Rubens. Like he did all of it. He like, does everything. And he's just he's just a gem. Personal stuff aside right he is a cool cat okay and like say what you will about it let's just be honest like what he did wasn't really that big of a deal right no i don't think it was that like big of a deal. not people a do it deal. all the time people and do that like, all the time it was his private time like it wasn't like he was like being like there's something just crashed <laughs> um it wasn't like kids were involved or anything like that no it was just he was living his private life not as peewee herman let the guy off, us, leave the guy alone off some steam yeah, adult. Let... oh you roboted you froze you roboted you, i roboted you froze cool okay <laughs> we good now we good we good all right so um this was amazing mm-hmm. and so you guys if you haven't watched it either listen and then go watch it or stop go watch it come back listen um but if you were a fan of peewee in the 80s then you are in for a treat because this is gold it is it is peewee gold i was a huge fan of peewee let me just put that out there yes like and i know your husband was were you i was a huge fan did you know that paul rubens is 68 years old yeah what like like he looks very good he does yeah he he looks very youthful he does today right but to answer your question yes i loved Wee's playhouse um i remember watching that a lot and yeah um but kevin kevin really loves peewee like yeah absolutely loves peewee and um i just have to say that the one thing he said was that he was disappointed that the brain didn't make an appearance like when he was like look inside my nose like in the little brain 
he, yeah. Yes, you didn't see the brain. No, he was hoping like the brain was like dressed up in like Christmas attire or whatever. <laughs> um, but he laughed through the whole thing. I love that, and it was so funny. Like he was making me laugh because he was laughing. It was super cute. So this is a tradition for me to watch. Sadie will sometimes watch it. Pete has no, he has no interest because he was older. Like he was too old for Pee Wee, mm-hmm. but too young yeah. to be an adult to get Pee Wee. Do you know what that, I mean? That's true. That's true. That's true. So he has no interest. Sadie has little interest. She does love Pee Wee's Playhouse, the show. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think that the guest stars just go over her head. Right. Because she's just like, who is this? Who, who are these Who are people? these old people? Right. Um, but I watch this every Christmas so as many cool. times as I can. I love it. Like, even, like, Christmas Eve, if I have family over, I will start with that. Like, I put that on, and that's what's playing on my TV in the living room as mm-hmm. people come in, and then we put on Christmas Vacation. Love just the way it. it is. But, um, but yeah, no, I was a huge fan of Pee-wee. My brother and I both were huge fans of Pee-wee. One Christmas, we got, um, we both got a Pee-wee doll. I remember the Pee-wee doll. And, you know, you could, like, pull the string and it would say yes. things. Yes. <laughs> um, Yes, and we both had Pee Wee's Playhouse color forms, which I still have. That's amazing. I don't stick anymore, but I loved color forms, and I loved my Pee Wee color forms. I played with those color forms probably more than any others. I loved color forms as well because it was like stickers, but you could like restick them. Right, you could make like little scenes. Right, it was awesome. Um, <clears throat> so let's dive in. First okay, all, I'm ready for this. That um, mar- marine, whatever, choir, I don't know what they call it. Okay. Had me rolling. Had me rolling. I was, was like, amazing. what is going on? And I want to know more about it. Like, I want to know more, like, because you wouldn't think, like, uh, the Marine Corps, like, would be chorus. like, sure, we'll be on a and we'll Pee-wee's dance Christmas special right yeah it was fantastic you guys oh my gosh rolling it's awesome and then like through the credits obviously like we see all the special guests right that are going to be on and you guys talk about 80s like right. icons first i do have to say icons. i didn't know that terry's name the pterodactyl was spelled p t e r like <laughs> I don't think I ever noticed either. I didn't notice until it was like on the um, like on the I, screen. I always have closed captions on. Um, oh yeah, and it came on, and I was like, "That's how you spell Terry." And Kevin's I like, did yeah, not know like that. pterodactyl. Sorry about that. I just had to say that. <laughs> I love that. So the special so, guests, the yeah. special guests are amazing, right? Um. And we can either, do you want to read through them or do we want to hit them as they come in? Let's hit them as we, they come in. And I did a little Perfect. research on the side. Yeah. And Kevin thought this was very morbid, but I was like, are they living or dead? So I, I did the same. Okay. Okay. So I don't think it's that morbid. Well, I just, because there were older people on there and I was just like, you know, I wonder if they're still living. They're probably not, you know. I mean, some are. Some are, yeah. But yeah. I don't think that's morbid because, you know, I, I don't know. It's just interesting to me. Yeah. Because this was like, what, 32 years ago? Right. Right. What the hell? I know. Where has uh, my, my life gone? So crazy. So, so crazy. Our first friend, neighbor... Mm-hmm. That comes in as Miss Yvonne. Yes. Extra, Let me just say, extra, extra. And I love it, love it, love it. I always thought Miss Yvonne was absolutely beautiful. Yes, me too. She was stunning. I loved her dresses. Mm-hmm. She was a fancy, fancy lady. She was. She was also, like, it went over my head as a kid. But there were, right. there were some very inappropriate things. Y- yes, she was into Pee-wee. She wasn't a Pee Wee. Actually, in my notes, I put his face when she first kissed him was hilarious. <laughs> just if you guys go back and watch it, just like notice his face. It's perfect. Because oh it's gosh, like I he's a kid. Mm-hmm. 
getting kissed by a girl. And at first he's like, Ugh. and then he's like, oh, <laughs> and it's kind of funny. Um, but, but no, I always thought she was beautiful and fancy. And she brings oh. him his first fruitcake. Yes. The which is a running many. joke. Yes, it is through the whole thing and yes whenever someone talks about fruitcake or i see fruitcake in a store or I anything think of peewee's playhouse always i think of this always 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 and, this and i the, always think like is it really that heavy well this is the first time i was introduced to fruitcake was Same. on peewee's playhouse so i always wondered what is it? it sounds amazing it sounds great and i would ask my nan you know i'd love to have fruitcake and i can remember she ended up getting me like a small little fruitcake Mm-hmm. And I was like, this is absolutely disgusting. This is garbage. Yes. I've never had fruitcake. It is not the best. I didn't, I mean, I'm sure there's some that's pretty good, but the, what I had, mm, no. I, I, I've, I've never had an interest, probably because no. of Pee Wee. Yeah, right. So I really loved when Flory <laughs> <says>, <laughs> come stand over me. That to was Missy like, Vaughn. I was like, <laughs> that totally would have gone over my head as a kid. Me too. But now I'm like, Flora, you're a pervert. No kidding. And no she's kidding. like, okay. Right. <laughs> Missy Vaughn, you're kind of slutty. Yeah. Miss Vaughn was so excited to get kisses from everybody. <laughs> yes, she, she was. She was ready. She was. She came prepared. She wasn't, she's not fooling around. No. No. She knows what she's doing. She's like, King of Cartoons, I see you. Yeah. <laughs> I see you. I see you, Ricardo. Yeah. Um, so then the picture phone. Well, before that was the fridge and freezer animation. Oh, right. Not, so, to, not to interrupt you, but. No, I didn't put the, I totally didn't put that in there consciously knowing I didn't put it in there. And mm-hmm. knowing that I needed to put it in there, and I never did. Hey. I just used to love the claymation stuff that they did on Pee Wee's Playhouse. Like, that was Same. some of my favorite stuff. Like, Penny. Like, the claymation stuff was just my favorite. Well, because back then, I don't know. If, I don't know if I would say it was new. I don't know if it was new. Mm-hmm. But it was, there was a lot of claymation. Like, if you right. think about, like, the California Raisins. Better Off Dead. Yes, yes. There was a lot of that stuff. Mm-hmm. And it was super, super interesting. Even like thinking back to like oh, Brooke is robot. Like large she Marge. She is a robot. That. Robot. Robot. Am I now? Am I fixed? Am I fixed? No, she's fixed okay. now. So um, like even going back to like Pee Wee's Big Adventure and like Large Marge mm-hmm. um, with that whole thing. Like there was a lot of claymation in that right it was super interesting and Mm -hmm. cool and like different right and i did like the fridge people because i like to see like it was creative like the christmas tree made of grapes the what the christmas tree made of grapes i didn't see that oh my gosh their christmas tree was grapes and like the eggnog was eggs with a straw in it that's funny um and it was cute and like kind of interesting and they also gave him a fruitcake that they did a very small one and when he put it on the table, it was like, Dunk. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Okay. So now the video phone. So yeah, that the zoom prediction. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I remember as a kid thinking the picture phone is so cool and high tech. I mean, like we could never have that. Like that'll I, that's never what I was happen. thinking too. Like nobody, nobody will be able to call each other like and have video. Like and nobody's going to ever other. do that. No, no that was like, beyond my wildest dreams right it was like cool a cool thought but i was like like, yeah look at us i know we're doing it right now Like we're on a picture phone right same with magic screen though like that was like magic ipad i mean yeah but like with vr right right (laughs) true (laughs) sorry i got a little ahead of myself there but so then we have whoopi goldberg yes who is now 65 years old she I did so this think about for everybody. That. So think about that. Thirty-two years ago, she was thirty-three. Yeah, and yeah. she and she looked young. Like she, she, she did. She did. I think she looks great now. And poor Whoopi, like he was like, "I'm sorry, we're full." I know. <laughs> Sometimes Pee Wee was an asshole. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> and you didn't. I didn't realize that as a kid. But like some of the things he said, I was like, 
Well, that was mean. So Pee Wee is supposed to be like a like a boy, like a young mm-hmm. boy. Mm-hmm. So I, and yes, Pee Wee is kind of an asshole sometimes. Yes. But he learns from it. He learns from it. That's he right. always, there's a lesson, mm-hmm. um, which is good for kids, obviously. Mm-hmm. But like, it's genius because that would be like the big, like the big stockings. Like <laughs> that would be something that a kid would do. One and, for each foot. <laughs> right. And that would make perfect sense in their mind. Like, right. I'm just going to have the biggest stocking because I'm going to, I want to get the most presents. Mm, right. Nothing wrong with that. Right. You guys can have the little ones. I'll take the big ones too, please. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, but that's, what's so neat about it is that it's like, it's pretty genius because a kid could really be like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very true. It's like in his own like innocent mind. It's not what it what it is until he right. learns different. That's true. That's true. So then so we have magic screen. Magic screen. Him and Magic Johnson are cousins. Magic <laughs> Johnson <laughs> looks so young. I know he was. He, I think he was like, well, he was like thirty or twenty nine. He was he's sixty one now. So how old was he then? He's 61 I, now, so he was like 28. Crazy. 29. 29. So he was young. Years. He was young. He was young. He's so handsome. I know. Young and handsome and tall and big hands. Yes. I, I noticed those big hands. I don't know why I said how you doing, but I like, yeah. Like how you doing tall. big hands? I like I'm tall. How you doing big hands? <laughs> um... But they, they had the magic screen, connect the dots, la, 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 la. Yeah. And they made the sleigh, and then they went mm-hmm. through the thing, and then there was Magic Johnson. A lot of these cameos are very, like, some of them are very, very short. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I felt like they had a list of people they wanted to get on, and they just, like, stuck them wherever they could. I, yes. And I love it. I freaking I do love too. it. It's like, a, like, the whole thing is, like, 41 minutes or, like, 47 minutes or something. And it doesn't stop. And they have stop. all these cameos. It, like, it doesn't stop. Like, there's no, huh. like, slow part. It's, like, it keeps nope. going and going and going. Like, a kid would want. Right. There's no like, lull. No. Like, on some things, like, as a show you watch and it's, like, there's suspense and then there's, like, a lull and then there's suspense. And then this was, like, action from the get-go. And right. It played throughout until the end and scene and credits and scene so then they decorate the playhouse for christmas with jambi yes mecca like a high mecca ho 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 mecca ho 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 yes <laughs> and then he's put the decorations up right yeah jambi like made it happen yeah but didn't one didn't somebody unplug the tree or was did, that did was that later that was later okay my bad i think that was later um <laughs> i think it was randy the asshole because <laughs> randy was an asshole but i have that in my notes okay later. Um, so then reba the mail lady came yes mm-hmm. so reba the mail lady what other show what show was she on was it like ncis or something i don't remember or like law and order she was on and maybe she still is on another show and every time I see her, it's not a show that I regularly watch, um, but every time I see her, I'm like, hey, it's Reba the Mail Lady. <laughs> like, that's how I know her. Yeah. <laughs> um, so she clearly went on to do things other than Pee Wee. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. So he gives her for a present. So first, for Miss Yvonne, he gave her, like, Udu Pee Wee <laughs> or whatever Perfume. it was called. Yes. Right. But he gave her, to- like toenails like press on toenails press on toenails why were they so big i don't know but they were did i like close. miss a joke or something they looked cloudy like they looked like they had like fungus oh, gross yes they look disgusting oh my gosh i, I didn't felt even... bad for her that was funny i i thought there was some kind of joke that i was missing no they were just big oversized okay toenails all right um and then she brings in a huge box. Huge. It's a person sized box. It is. And who comes out? Grace Jones. Who is now 72 years old. 
<laughs> and I bet she looks amazing. I bet she does too. So as a kid, Grace Jones was one of those people, like, I didn't know who she was. Mm-hmm. But I remember her being on, like, commercials, like, for, like, music compilations or something. Mm-hmm. And, like, you would just see her. And I remember thinking, like, like knowing that she was very exotic. And I didn't even right. know what that word was. Right. Yeah. But she no, looked agreed. like nobody else. Right. No, she had her own thing. Absolutely. She, yeah. Um, all I can say with her is boobs. Like, like, <laughs> boobs. Well, right. That little, those like little, like, they were like little whoopie pie shaped like boobs. Yeah. In her like bodice. Right. And it was. Um, they were shiny. I, very. <laughs> it was a very interesting outfit. It was a, it, it was an very, interesting look. Very, very interesting. Very extra. But she has a great voice. Mm-hmm. And I, and I love the song and I loved how she sang it. It was great. It was fantastic. I don't she remember was, the song. She was supposed now. to go to the White House. So who was president? Bush? 1988. He, no, he was not in yet. It was still Ronald Reagan. Was it really? Yeah, because wow. Bush would have been inaugurated in 89. Wow. Right? Okay. Yeah. I, yeah, I think you're we right. We were in third grade. No. Yeah, no, we were in third grade. Okay. That was yeah. third grade. Yep. And I had Sadie Seizure when this came out oh you did oh, yes Ms. young sadie has my teacher and i think i had her her first year of teaching and now sadie has her and now sadie has cool. her for third grade it's that is cool. really cool and did you super you've got to tell her you've got to tell her that you're my friend i will and see if she remembers me i will i'm friends with her on facebook you are yeah i think she friended me on facebook and i was like oh my gosh this is mrs young she is super sweet too so that's really cool yeah um so then grace jones sings right and then we meet frankie Frankie avalon and annette funicello and talk about icons 1988 or like 87 88 were like big years for frankie and annette really well i feel like now i don't know I didn't do any research on this, so okay. don't quote no. me. But I remember around that time there being this whole like resurgence of like like nineteen fifties, nineteen sixties, like pop culture. Yeah, yeah. And they fit right into that. And like remember the movie Back to the Beach? Yeah, I I think I do. I think I remember. I freaking loved that movie so much. And they were in it. Mm-hmm. And it was like a beach movie, like, of the days of yore, like, when they were in beach movies. But now they're, like, they were, like, the parents. That's cool. And, um, but it was all around that same time. So, like, I was very familiar with who they were then mm-hmm. just because of, like, movies like Back to the Beach and seeing them on, like, TV specials. And um, obviously my mom knew who they were mm-hmm. from, like, when my she was younger. My mom did, too. Yeah. So it was always, it was really, really cool. Um and I just, I just really liked them. Like, I always liked them a lot. Yeah. So Frankie Avalon is 80 years old now, and he's still alive. And Annette it has passed. She died in April of 2013. She was 71, and she died from complications of multiple sclerosis. Yeah. I remember when she was diagnosed with that, like, or she came out mm-hmm. being diagnosed with that. And I remember thinking, like, that's really sad. Like, I didn't, yeah. you know. And it is really sad. Right. Um, she was such an icon and stunning. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Stunning. Yes. And Frankie Avalon, he, you know, he wasn't. He was not He was a nice looking. Gentleman. He wasn't that bad to look at either. No. Um, so they're making Christmas cards with Terry and Globy. Right. Pee Wee was very demanding. Pee Wee was an asshole. Yeah. This is where I was like, Pee Wee. That's not very nice. You're not treating Frankie and Annette very nicely. You're not treating them with kindness. No. And they deserve it because they're good people. Right. And the the potato candy cane? What in the world? That was like perfection. I know. (laughs) I just saw an orb. Oh, you did? Yes, I did. 
Just saw one. Come on, let's, let's have another. I want to see it. And it like flickered. It like went do 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 like that. So it's, weird. I don't think it's dust because I never see them. And there's times where like we don't won't see them at all. And then that one night we were seeing them left and right, like every minute. So anyway, that's crazy. Um. So next comes. If I could turn back. Oh my God! Time. Yes, share. <laughs> Oh, Cher and the secret word. Yes. Cher. I love Cher. I Cher do looked too. amazing. I loved her hair around this time. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Like this was about a year or so after Moonstruck, mm-hmm. which is one of my favorite movies. I love that movie. I haven't seen that in years. Oh my God. We should, we should do a, re- we should do a rewatch of that. I would love to. That movie is everything to me. I just love it. Um, but so Cher wanted to, she was there to do the secret word from Conky. Yeah. And the secret word was year. It's so funny that Conky is like a, a mixture of like electronics. Like he's got like a turntable <laughs> as a body and a boom box as a face as a as a like chest or something. And then like I think he's a typewriter head or Yes. Yes. Crazy. <laughs> crazy. It's weird. Like talk about creative, like making these like I know. characters. I know. It's crazy. Um, but that was really cool. I love Cher. It was a quick cameo. She is now 74 and she was 42 when this aired. Wow. She looked great. She looked freaking amazing for 42. 42. She looked amazing. Because 42 back then was like 62 now. <laughs> I feel. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. Like Kevin and I have had this discussion. Don't come for me. But like, if you think about it, like, our grandparents, when they were our age, looked much older than they were. Yes. But think about it. Is it just because our perspective, like, is that is that what it is? Maybe. Because sometimes I look at my hair and I'm like, I look like I'm stepping out of 1997. But I, so, look, at, I look at your mom... And I, she still looks so young to me, like, because she is closer in age to us than like our, like my grandparents. Yeah. You know, I don't know. I know my parents look old to my kids, but they are, they're seven, they're in their seventies. So right. Mid seventies. So they are old. I mean, sorry, but. Well, right. No, my dad, he just turned 69 and my mom turned 64. Yeah this year but so yeah i mean they're both older than like my grandparents were on my mom's side when they died Mm -hmm. like my grandparents were younger than that wow that's crazy it's crazy to think about it It scares me Mm -hmm. i know um but so yeah i just i think that it's just our perspective is different because we are older all right okay i bet if you ask sadie (laughs) Like, if, like, how old, like, I don't know, her nanny looks, she'd be like, she looks like she's 100. Like, they just look so old to them. But, like, I felt like Nan looked, like, late 60s when she was really, like, 80. Well, because you're, the women in your family have very good genes. That is true. That is true. Like you all look yeah. young. I I on the I don't think I've got inherited that, but I think my sister has because everybody always says, Oh, can you guys be twins? You're twins. Oh, twins. <laughs> I'm like, seriously? She's eleven years older than me. Sometimes twelve. Sometimes twelve. <laughs> Depending on where what month it's right. Falling. Good grief. So charlie brown (laughs) um so then king of cartoons comes in the flowers are king of cartoons and he has um oh and then joan rivers yeah she yeah so Cher introduces the cartoon wait who no who introduces the cartoon annette 
Annette does, yes. And, and then he hits the remote and Joan Rivers comes on from Hollywood right. Squares. And right, Kevin said, I Hollywood loved Squares. Hollywood Squares. I did too. I did too. I absolutely love it. Shadow Stevens. Yeah. <laughs> I, Jim J. Bullock. I loved Hollywood Squares to pieces. Um, but that was a really quick cameo. Like super quick. Yes. And then they played a really weird cartoon about kids in an orphanage yes so the kids in the orphanage cartoon was very interesting because it was like old-timey very old-timey but then at the end it was like claymation the tree turned into like claymation yeah oh yes it did and then so did the santa it was weird it was weird but it was a nice message. Like, it was a nice message. It was, and it was such a nice message. It was heartwarming, but it was just a little different. It was. But the Pee Wee cartoons were always a little different. Yeah. Yes. I don't remember them, but I'm sure they were. I'll have to rewatch. I only remember because I have rewatched several. Um, I wouldn't remember them normally, but they've all, they're always a little bit different. Yeah. Like, like very much like B-roll or mm-hmm. even like C-roll. Yeah. <laughs> So the king of cartoons has passed away. His name was oh, Gilbert oh. Lewis, and he died in June of 2015, and he was 79. Oh, yeah. He seemed like a nice man. He did. He did. I didn't know him, but he seemed like he would be a nice man. Yeah. So we have Billy Baloney. Billy Baloney. I never, I never liked Billy Baloney. I thought he looked weird. Oh, is that the... Um, the puppet the puppet okay yeah yeah i thought he looked weird and i mean it's just a puppet that peewee did right but he was there i don't remember what it was even about i don't either to be honest with you i'm there to shoot in the shit i did i think so too i didn't even like <laughs> you didn't I even didn't note even, it i didn't even note it <laughs> i just noted it because i think he was weird i didn't like billy baloney yeah. billy baloney like i don't think he was in the first season of peewee's playhouse i think he came along in like the second or third season and i was like he's erroneous we don't need yeah. him. <laughs> Even as a kid, I was like, we don't need him. Right, but, right. Eh. You win some, you lose some. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then we're outside and it's snowing. Yeah, can we talk about Pee Wee Snowsuit, please? Yes, I would absolutely love to talk about Pee Wee Snowsuit. <laughs> I want one. Oh my gosh. It was like, almost like one. the kid from A Christmas Story. Yes, it was. Like, But like new. Like, oh my gosh too funny so yes yeah, so he's outside in the snow and then who comes along cowboy curtis lawrence fishburne which is amazing yes i love it i love matrix. cowboy curtis the matrix and he yeah. is um he is 59 years old he looked so young in this yeah he did and he was he was young yeah how old is he 59 59 now yeah that's it yeah yeah so he would have been like 27 yeah oh my god a baby he was just a baby not a bad looking fella to be honest no not bad not i thought that as a kid i was like (laughs) you know cowboy 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 curtis with the curls looking yeah curls i kind of dig him (laughs) um so this is my favorite part coming up Oh, the ice skating part? No. No. Oh. Sorry. Oh, the triplets. Yeah. The Del Rubio triplets? Yes. Oh my gosh. I had to I had to look them up because I remember them from the 80s, but I didn't like I didn't know. Like I don't I didn't follow them. I can remember very, very clearly watching them and saying, I hope I look like them when I'm that age. Yes. I'm like, they're beautiful. In my notes. All I wrote, I wrote Del Rubio triplets. Legs for days. Legs, I know. And they showed the legs. They did. Yeah. They so, like, look at these gams. Right? Is that what they call them? <laughs> Is that what they called them back yes. then? <laughs> yeah, <the> gams. <laughs> look at the gams on that one. Yeah. Um. No, so, they were. They were hot old ladies. Yeah. So to give you an update, mm. Edith or Edie. Elena and Mildred or Millie. They were all born in 1921. 
Um, Edie died in 1996. She was 75. Alina or Elena died in 2001. So she was 79. And Millie died in 2011. She was 89. So they all died like very like not in the same year. You know what I mean? They were triplets. Like, like that must like be hard. Out. Yeah. Of course it was. Yeah. Of course it was. They, I think I read that they all lived together in a mobile home. Oh my God. Like in a three bedroom mobile home, they lived together. Um, I don't know, maybe horrible. towards the end of their life, but yeah. Um, but then I went back and I watched some like videos of them from like the fifties, mm-hmm. and when they were like young. That's cool. And they were super talented. Really? Yes. I mean, they were they were really talented. Um, and they did like I just I watched this one. It was it was cute anyway. Um, but it reminded me of something that they would like go to like perform for the troops. <laughs> oh that's cool okay i don't I know, know exactly if they what you mean i know exactly what you mean though i know exactly but they were what you like mean. like a uso show yes like they were they were like pretty young girls triplets mm-hmm. and they would get out and they would like wear these little outfits and, and strut like, around do little dance yep. and sing and they were like good singers it was cute it, they were adorable and they, that was my favorite part of the whole thing i loved them <laughs> they were sweet um well that and little richard that those were my favorite parts yeah little richard oh my gosh was he next he was next yes so i wrote on there just like what an icon little richard i know um so i thought he passed a while ago did not know that he passed this may 2020 yeah it was not that long ago no like he just passed away and he was he he was oh i i did not I did not get the age of this one of little Richard. I can't believe it, but I didn't. Um, but he passed away from bone cancer. So I thought oh. it was, I was like, Oh no, was it COVID? And it wasn't, it was bone cancer. Oh yeah. He had to have been pretty old. I mean, let me, let me look What a up. life. What a life. Little Richard was 87 years old. Wow. Yep. Yep, 87 years old. So, next. Mm-hmm. Constant. Craving. Well, the ice skating. I have to talk oh, yeah. about the ice skating <laughs> because it was foolish. Yes. And it was so, like, as you're watching it, you're like, obviously, like, that they're making a joke because it's obviously a body double. Right. And at the end, when the body double comes up and he's like, how'd i do <laughs> that was fantastic it was perfect it was perfect yes i loved it um and yeah so that was perfect his and name was hans yes you right hans um so then we're back inside they're drinking hot chocolate they're warming up and then we have katie lang yeah. was that the right song that i sang yes that's katie lang. constant okay. craving okay yeah i freaking love that song so much like, I love it so much. After I watched this, I had to go and find it and listen to it. Because I love that song. I loved her dress. It was very Katie Lang. I did like not if, love her if, dress. If, if, if Katie Lang wore a dress. I don't know. Well, she did wear a dress in this. It, well, it was kind of weird that she was wearing a dress. I don't know. It was. She doesn't but, seem like a dress type person. No, not at all. Um, but I have to tell you, I absolutely loved her rendition yes of jingle bell rock Mm -hmm. because it was so fun and so like campy yes it was she she did a really good job she like made it for the kids yes she did yeah and it was awesome um but i just i love her voice i think she's an amazing voice she's very talented she's very like yeah yeah and i didn't realize like obviously i know now because just from watching it for the past several years but like, I didn't know that she was, like, famous. <laughs> I didn't either. It was more 90s. She seemed more 90s to me because right. Constant Craving was 90s. Right, right, And that's what introduced me to who she is. Not mm-hmm. that I'm, like, a huge fan or anything. I just always love that song. Yeah. Um, but apparently she was around then. That's pretty Or neat. she had a great agent that got her on the show. Yeah, like, that's I don't pretty know. cool. That's pretty cool. Um, but then, so she does that. With Dirty Dog, Cool Cat, and Chicky Baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I always loved them. 
especially Chicky Baby. She was my favorite. <laughs> and so that was cool. Yeah. And then Randy is an ass. Yes. So first is the, all the Christmas stockings, right? They <laughs> Yes. And Pee Wee's stocking was two. Two, yeah. And then Randy's an asshole and pulls the plug on the tree. Right. <sighs> Randy, I know. be a dick. I know. I know. Oh, wait. No, that's later on. That's later. That's later, oh, actually. Is? Oh, yeah. That's, that's much later. Oh, yes. okay. Because I have comments about that afterwards. Oh, you do. Okay. Yes. So, so we'll get to that then. Right. So Brandy's next being is being asked to be an ass. Next is Penny, and she talks about the road to Morocco. <laughs> yes, she does. And we're and I was like, Kevin, what is that? And like, is Penny like a teenager? No, she's like a kid. Okay, but like an older kid. She might be like nine or ten. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Um. I don't. I don't. I don't totally know, but I feel like she's about nine or ten. I wonder if she's like the same age as us. Oh, maybe. So, like, I, Penny is forty now. Right. Right. I wonder. Let me see who played Penny on Pee Wee's Playhouse. Okay. So it was Anna Seidman, and. Hmm. I don't really know any much more about her, but I bet she's the same age as us. I'm going to look up Anna Seidman. Like on Facebook? Yeah. No, like um, Google it. Ah. Ah, doesn't say anything. So anyway, yeah, she, I bet she was the same age as us. Which is kind You're of probably cool. right. Yeah. You're probably right. So we have the Penny cartoon. I always liked those. Yes, me too. Countess the Cow. Yes, which I didn't really ever like. Oh, I liked Countess. <laughs> um, and she brought Zsa Zsa Gabor. She did. Because I always thought like Countess the Cow was like a dead cow. Like a dead cow? But she talked. Yeah. Right, but I thought it was like a dead cow carcass. Like, Oh, like, you thought it was like a real cow that they were yeah. like moving? Like, like um, that, like it was the skin of the cow? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, but... I was like that. I mean, maybe you're right. Yeah. I don't know. So, so Pee Wee gives her a jingle bell, a bell that plays Mm -hmm. music. I don't remember what song it played. I don't remember. Um, So that was nice. And the cow must have given her a fruitcake, him a fruitcake. I don't remember. But Jaja was there and Jaja was fabulous. Yes, she was. She looked gorgeous stunning yes. stunning yes always so funny. um so then we have the picture phone again right. dinah shore i don't know who dinah shore i is. didn't either i, I had to remember look, her name i had to look her up and she was a okay. singer actress and tv personality and it said, okay. top charting female vocalist of the 1940s, born in 1916 and died in 1994 at 78. So wait a minute. She didn't look old enough no. to be in there. She looked very young no. to be born no, in 1916. She... Like That doesn't make any sense. She would have been 72 years old. I know. And she didn't look it. Holy shnikes. I know. I know. Wow. Yeah. I mean, good for her. Um, and then Oprah calls in. Oprah. Very quick cameo again. But, right. you know, Oprah. Oprah, is Oprah ended up becoming pretty amazing. Yeah. And she's 66 uh, years an old. An icon. Is she really? Yes. I remember Oprah's is. 50th birthday. You do? Yes. I do. <laughs> That's funny. It was like a special like episode. She had a huge party for her 50th birthday. And like, it was it was huge. It was like a huge like thing, and it was like a thing on her show. I was a avid Oprah watcher. You guys, I watched it a lot like, too. When I got TiVo, I would TiVo Oprah every day. I would watch it when I get home from work. Like, I was a big Oprah fan. Mm-hmm. And when Oprah ended, I was I was really like I was I kind of had I was a little lost for a little bit. Yeah, because there wasn't um, anything like it to replace it. 
No, because I, I liked the variety that you would get. In some opera shows, I wouldn't watch. Like, if I wasn't into the topic, I wouldn't watch it just to watch it. Right, right, right. Um, but I was into most topics. Yeah. Because she would have celebrities and she would have different topics like anorexia or, you know, like stuff like that. Right. Or like, like Dr. fun topics. Like, like Dr. Nicholas. Phil like stuff because Dr. Phil was on her show. And right. Yeah. Right. So I don't know. It's so the Oprah was on and that was before Oprah was like who she became. Right. Um, she was like kind of newer ish and it was cool. Yeah. And then he went back to Dinosaur and she was still singing and he put a mannequin up. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> it was a mannequin with a peewee mask. Um, so then we have Ricardo and he teaches peewee how to say Merry Christmas in Spanish. And then we have Charo I with the crimped Charo. hair. Her hair was all Which crimped. looked amazing. Yes. Um, I love Charo. Especially, like, I didn't... I wasn't super familiar with Charo other than like when she'd be on like shows, like guest yeah. show, like guests on shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, until the surreal life. That's what I was gonna say. Until the surreal life. I was like, oh, this is Charo, okay. And I just like her. Yeah. She's awesome. Um, super talented, also. Like again, super, super talented. Mm-hmm. And so that was awesome. And then we have Mrs. Renee. Mm-hmm. And she is Jewish, and she teaches us about Hanukkah. She does. And she gives Pee-wee a dreidel. Mm-hmm. And we all get to sing the dreidel song. And then, come to find out, the dinosaurs, they're, they're Jewish, too. Yeah, hey. I lo- loved the dinosaurs. Yes, I did, too. I was Again, the claymation, cute. it was really cool. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah. Um, and then we learned the true meaning of Christmas is told by magic screen. Right, which is like... I couldn't believe that. Be just because, like, they talked about like how the show was. Yeah, right. like, and then I was thinking, well, they did that in school, like, too. They just, yeah, I guess, assumed absolutely. everybody was Christian. <laughs> so that was really towards the end. Mm-hmm. The mm-hmm. lights. Who turned out the Christmas tree lights? It did was, we get to that? No, we didn't get to that because that was it. Randy took turned Randy out the did. christmas lights and then was that, that after the new wing that was before and then they told randy because he was like what's this all about anyways and they're like well let's tell you the true meaning of christmas christmas isn't all about giving gifts and and this is and then they did the nativity right oh right. and then That's right. and then this is this is one of my other favorite parts the new wing yeah <laughs> because the, con- the construction workers are like all tatted up and one guy doesn't have a shirt on. (laughs) (laughs) And they're like, and then I felt like they were going to start singing like macho, macho man. I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) It's perfect though. It's like perfectly peewee. It really is. It really is. So So then Santa comes. Yes. Yes. Peewee's a shithead is what I wrote. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah 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 i mean i don't know he didn't he learn some lesson though yeah because santa was like um he was like so did you get all, all the things on my list because he wasn't going to give santa the freaking cookies unless santa gave him everything that was on his list oh right and santa said well i did but if i get but if i give them all to you then none of the other boys and girls will get presents. And pretty much Pee was like, oh, well, that's not my problem. You know? <laughs> and, um, and then everybody else was like, Pee Wee. Pee Wee. And so then he was uh-huh. like, the true meaning of Christmas. And it's like himself talking, you know, is to give rather than receive. And then he said, yes, he right. will give them all away. And Santa said, well, you can be my helper and p was like santa you're the shit basically and santa said i know you are but what am i oh uh, my wish is that there is peace on earth that's what Wee said because he got a wish from jambi that's right he did yes. have that extra wish from jambi yes because jambi in the beginning i remember now yes because jambi yeah. was like who do you think it is christmas and then accommodations were provided by the los angeles regency hotel <laughs> 
my god. <laughs> <laughs> why is that funny i don't know but it made me laugh and i'm like what accommodations and why are they why are they saying this like but i remember on certain on shows they would say that yes they would say that you know accommodations provided by yeah yes. that's why i had to say uh, yes. it so Burbank marriott right exactly so yeah. i'm like who stayed at the los angeles regency hotel like katie lang and like all of them probably Caro? okay unless they lived there so maybe if they had to be on set for like so many days they oh, needed yeah. to like be somewhere i don't know i don't know it's really interesting know. though yeah maybe somebody like in the biz yeah knows what, what <laughs> like, we're talking no. about yeah or like if like your parents were back yeah. then yeah because like i don't i don't know that they'd say that now no, I don't think they do. Maybe they do for like Wheel of Fortune and stuff. Maybe I was going to say Wheel of Fortune. That's exactly like, what was in my head when like you were saying shows. accommodations provided by. Like right. I think of Jeopardy or Wheel of Fortune. Right, the Sheridan by the airport. Yeah. Oh, like, Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. No. R.I.P. Twenty twenty, you suck. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you Freaking do. Twenty twenty, I got a an ornament that's a dumpster fire it says happy it says happy first pandemic the schreyers oh my god with a dumpster fire yeah good call it says that says i'm fine <laughs> i thought it was quite funny and it was on etsy and i'm supporting small businesses this christmas so i think that's nice i am i am supporting all the etsy people because they need to be supported so i agree I think that's nice. small businesses and when you can like you just that's what you do so right i got brand a bunch of stuff on etsy i got the ornaments so guys that was peewee peewee's yeah. playhouse christmas special yeah if you haven't watched it yet go watch it it is such like a fun little flashback in time it's like a little like time machine yeah or like time capsule i guess yeah. if you will yeah and um it's really fun and it's even fun for kids like right they're not going to know who the people are. No, no. But I won't. don't think you so much. It doesn't really matter because they're interesting right. characters. Right. So that was it. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Yeah, yeah. I've got my tree up. I've got all of my decorations up. They've been up since the week after Halloween. My rotating tree is It's up. your rotating thing. Yeah. I do think that's pretty cool. Um, we were going to put our tree up tonight, but we didn't because somebody wouldn't pick up her toys. And so we said, if you don't pick up your toys, we're not putting putting up the tree. And she's like, fine, I won't pick up my toys. I don't want a tree. (gasps) So yeah, I know it's fine. She's going to pick them up tomorrow and the tree will go up tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We're not doing all the ornaments because of the kittens. Yeah. I'm just going to put like the soft ones on. Yeah. And, um, we'll decorate. I'll decorate through the weekend and probably into next week. Mm -hmm. But that's that. All right. Be fun. Yeah. So, guys, have a good week. Yes. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for joining us. We love you. We'll have more holiday episodes coming up over the next three weeks. Yeah. The next three weeks. Yes. Yeah. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. (laughs) Merry Christmas. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was the uh, perfect, perfect ending. <laughs> All right. As Nikki says every time, we'll be loving you forever. We'll be loving you forever. Okay. Okay. Bye. bye.